Hey folks, Chad with Data Prep U here. Today we're going to do a complete walkthrough of downloading, installing, and licensing your Alteryx designer. Let's go. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the actual downloads page for Alteryx. Now, many of you may have gotten uh, your designer install from the free download link on Alteryx.com. That's completely fine. If you have already done that, please skip ahead to just the licensing portion of this. Now, for those of you who have not downloaded Alteryx yet, this is a fantastic option because it gives you a list of all of the available downloads from Alteryx. Now, by default, you're gonna see the Alteryx Designer, Alteryx Server, and Alteryx Connect, where you can download each of these. These are what's called the admin version. You do need elevated or administrative privileges on your local machine. Now, many people do have that, but many people don't. If you do not, you can actually click on View All Downloads, and then here you can see there is the admin version link and the non-admin version link. In this case, I already have another installation of Alteryx, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the non-admin version. These are just download managers. They actually help you walk through what you want to actually download. So in this case, I can see the nice little pop-up screen here says, do you want to install Alteryx by itself or Alteryx with the R-based predictive tools? I'm gonna go ahead and do the predictive tools as well just because I wanna make sure I have all of that available in my canvas. Once I click that, you can see it goes ahead and starts to download that entire package. Uh, and then from there, we'll be able to begin running the installation. Okay, with that initial download complete, it goes through a verification process. Now, what this does is this just makes sure that everything is in order with that install package. So we'll speed this up so you won't have to sit through the, entirely, or the entirety of the slow process of this verification. So please stay tuned. Okay, great. With the verifica verification complete, we can see the new designer uh, install screen that has just popped up. Now, this does have the word user in parentheses. That does mean that this is the non-admin version. So the vast majority of people will not have any issues with this particular version of Alteryx. Now, it's important to also understand the differences between admin and non-admin. The non-admin version is specifically for that user level. You cannot make system level changes to Alteryx, so any of the default settings and so forth. Now, from a function perspective, there is really no difference. You can still do all of that same predictive uh, analysis, all of that data prep and blending, all of that geospatial and demographic analysis with either the user or the admin version. Now, in this case, all this really does is ask you to uh, select uh, the, the description for the start menu group for uh, Alteryx, uh, the Alteryx designer, and then it goes through and asks for the install location. I typically keep things at the default and then just move on from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next, where you can then read through the licensing agreement, check the box and click next, and then let the install go. Okay, so the initial designer is now installed, but it still has to go through and, and, and install the R-based predictive tool set. So this is based off of open source R, but there is a custom Alteryx version of this that they actually created that allows you to use R directly within Alteryx. And so this is this next piece of the puzzle. So once again, going through the verification process of the next install, the R-based predictive tools, if you uh, selected to only do the Alteryx designer, you probably won't go through this next set of prompts. So you can go ahead and skip ahead to the licensing from here. For those of you that did uh, elect to install the R-based predictive tools, just stay tuned. We'll get right to the install screen. Okay, so now we're at the R-Base Predictive Tools install screen. The initial screen just walks you through each of the different R libraries that are by default included with Alteryx. Now, Alteryx contains or has a lot of different tools 
uh, that they've made available to you that allow you to do lots of different types of uh, statistical or predictive analysis just by dragging a tool to the canvas. And each of these libraries are part of those tools. Now, uh, in this case, that does not mean that you are restricted to only these tools. You can also go in and install your own custom libraries as well. This just gives you that uh, that initial, hey, these are the tools that are, or these are the libraries that are uh, connected here. So I will go ahead and click next, go through the general public license agreement for R, click next, select my folder. If you want to select a start menu shortcut or add a desktop shortcut, you can do that. I typically do not. I just go ahead and click on install. Okay, congratulations, you've made it through the install. Now the final piece of the download manager just says run Alteryx now. Go ahead and click finish and the Alteryx designer will pop up. Now next, we're gonna tackle licensing. Now, you have two different options when you first open Alteryx. Now you'll notice that all of the tools at the very top actually have a lock on them. That's because I have not licensed my designer yet. Now you have a couple of different options. First, if you do not yet have a purchased license, you can get that free two week trial. All you have to do is click on the request button here and then fill out all of the different fields here. So in my case, I've already done it so it auto populates to a certain extent. Uh, and then once you click on this or enter in all of this information and click activate, it will actually unlock all of your tools immediately. You do have to be connected to the internet though because it does connect to the Alteryx licensing servers so it can create records for you so they actually have that information that you did request that free trial. Now, if you do not have or do not care about that free trial, you can actually go in uh, and manually install or activate <clears throat> your paid license key. So in this case, if you have paid for a license key, it will come in the form of an email. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is go over to that particular email. It's gonna have this nice license to solve screen on it at the time of this video. But what you're going to see are the different products that you've actually purchased. So I've actually got the Alteryx server and the Alteryx designer here. So in this case, if I just want to license the Alteryx designer, I can copy and paste this information here and then once I go directly into that license key I'll go ahead and paste that and click activate what happens is this goes out it confirms that this is a valid license for Alteryx and that you have paid for it you'll be able to then click on getting get started and then all of your tools will unlock at this point, you are fully functional and ready to go. Now, there may be additional stuff to install if you purchased a data package. So if you purchased either the spatial data package or the full core data bundle, those will have to go through their own install processes as well. And I'll cover those in additional videos. Once again, this is Chad with Data Prep U covering Alteryx installation and licensing for the Alteryx designer. Thanks so much for watching. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching. If you liked what you saw, please show us that support by clicking on like below and clicking on subscribe. If you do wanna take advantage of that free two week trial, which I highly recommend, there is also a link to that below as well. In addition, if you wanna see additional resources, you can always go to dataprepu.com or check out some of the other videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks again, see you next time.